I'm Victor with Full Course and Firearms. Today we are going to be installing the left-handed laminated grips for the Ruger Mark IV target. Let's get started. Uh, tools you'll need is a 1 16th Allen wrench, a uh, 5 64th Allen wrench, and then of course we do have an Allen wrench included for the grip screws. Um, included in the in the kit, we'll have your actual grip panels, a mag, uh, magazine release extension, a bolt release, um, the screws for the grips, some lining pins, and a left hand specific magazine release. To get started, uh, we will need to change out our bolt release first. Um, sometimes these don't want to come off right away, um, or can be slipped slipped off. Uh, you're going to need a 16th inch. Allen wrench there to remove this screw and then you can slide the bolt release off set it off to the side and then you're going to want to slide the bolt release underneath the rivet there and then reinstall the screw with that out of the way the next thing we need to do is change out our magazine release so uh, you will need your 5 64 Allen wrench there and there, there's a screw right next to the magazine release. Go ahead and remove that. Uh, obviously, sometimes new from factory, they are gonna be very tight. And we'll take a little bit of force to get it started. Uh, you can use the long end for that. After it's actually broke loose, then you can just use the, sh the long end to actually remove the screw. So there is spring tension here. You're gonna to wanna to remove the screw and then carefully remove your magazine release. There is a detent and a spring in the magazine release there that you're gonna to wanna to transfer over to your new magazine release. And then carefully line it back up to go back into your hole here. Uh, you're gonna to wanna to line this up with where the screw is Once you get it all in and there's spring tension, now we can put our screw back on. Tighten it down. And now that we can go ahead and start putting the grip panels on. Uh, you're first gonna wanna put the magazine extension through the hole in the grip panel. And then you're going to want to put the grip panel underneath the bolt release and line up the screw holes. And now we'll use the included Allen wrench to put the first two screws in. And depending on the, your gun, it might be easy to see the, the grip holes. Um, just start them in. You don't want to tighten them all the way down until we have the other side in too. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and flip it over. This time you wanna insert our alignment pins into the bottom here. And then take the other side of the grip panels and put it back on. You also want to double check to make sure your magazine ejector is still in place here. Uh, it does have this small plastic piece of spring and a plunger in there. We'll line up the grip on the dowel pins. This might take a little bit of finagling. And just like that and insert the screws on this side. And just like the other side, you're gonna probably have to move it around just a bit to find the actual screw hole. You want it to start easily and not take a whole lot. So 
same thing with the bottom. Now, once we have these together, you can press the grips together and actually finish tightening them down. You don't want to crank down on them because you can actually break the panels if you crank them down too far. You just want to be snug. Same thing on the other side. And now your left-handed laminated wood grips for the Mark IV target are installed. If you have any more questions, you can contact us at volcortson.com.